This is a short film for people who will be attending Mount Vernon Cancer Centre for the treatment of breast cancer using radiotherapy. The aim of the film is to provide a short introduction to the Cancer Centre, to explain about radiotherapy, to describe what happens when you come for your planning appointment and your treatments, what side effects you may experience and how to look after your skin, to describe the support and information that is available at the Linda Jackson Macmillan Centre and finally who can you contact if you have any questions. Parking. There are three main gates into Mount Vernon Hospital. Gates 1 and 2 are located on Rickmansworth Road. Each gate has access to a large car park with plenty of space. However, they are the furthest to walk to the cancer centre. Gate 3 is on White Hill. This is the nearest gate to the cancer centre. There are two car parks which can get very busy. Please note you are unable to drive through the hospital to reach the other car parks. There are parking charges at the hospital which operate 24 hours a day. The car parks are patrolled regularly by parking attendants who will issue parking tickets if your ticket isn't valid, not displayed correctly, or if you are not parked correctly within the lines of a parking bay. Details about parking and subsidies to support parking charges at the hospital will be on your appointment letter. You can find further information about parking and how to get to Mount Vernon Hospital on the Linda Jackson Macmillan Centre website. When you arrive at the Cancer Centre, you will need to book in at the reception desk. When you start your radiotherapy, you will be given a self-checking card. The check-in machine is opposite the reception desk. If you lose your card, please let the radiographers know and they will organise another one for you. When you place your card into the slot, your details will appear on the screen along with the treatment machine. Please take note of which machine you are booked on as occasionally this may change. This could be due to a routine machine service or unforeseen circumstances. When you have checked in, remove your card and go to the waiting room for that machine. If you are unsure, the receptionist or volunteer supporters will help you. The name of the machine that delivers your radiotherapy treatment is called a linear accelerator, or LA for short. Radiotherapy is the treatment of cancer using high energy x-rays. These x-rays are targeted exactly to the area that needs to have treatment. Having radiotherapy will not make you radioactive, so it is safe to be around small children and pregnant women. Planning. Your first radiotherapy appointment will be for planning. Check in at the reception desk and have a seat in the main waiting room. A member of the radiotherapy team will call you into a private room and explain what will happen during your appointment. The treatment is planned specifically for you, so to be able to do this, we will need to have a short CT planning scan. This should take around 20 to 30 minutes. You will be taken into a CT planning room. The radiographers will introduce themselves to you. Please note that during your planning and treatment, you will be seen by both male and female radiographers. At each appointment, the radiographers will ask you for your date of birth and your address for identification. For your planning and treatment, you will need to remove your clothes from above your waist. The radiographers will maintain your dignity as much as they are able to by covering you with paper. The radiographers will help you onto the bed and will position you onto a special board with both your arms up into armrests. Try and relax your arms so that the armrests are supporting you, otherwise you may find your arms will start to ache. This is the position you will be in when you have your radiotherapy, so please tell the radiographers if you are not comfortable. You may be in this position for up to 20 minutes. We advise you to continue with any arm exercises you were given after your surgery, as this will help with your arm movement. When you are lying on the bed, the radiographers will be talking over you, calling out different information and taking lots of measurements. They will draw some marks on your skin with a pen 
and they will put some small markers onto your skin with tape. These markers show up on the CT scan. The radiographers will move the bed up into the scanner. When they are ready, they will check you are OK, cover you with paper and then they will leave the room. You will feel the bed move into the scanner and hear a noise while they are doing the CT scan. You will not feel anything and nothing will touch you. And unless you have been instructed otherwise, just breathe normally. The scan will only take a few minutes and the radiographers are watching you all the time through a window. If you need them, just call out and they will come straight into you. When the scan is finished, the radiographers will come back into the room. Please keep still until they say it is okay for you to move. The radiographers will give you three very small dark blue tattoos. These tattoos are used to ensure you are in the correct position each day for your treatment. They are permanent and very small, about the size of a pinhead. You will feel a tiny scratch when they are done. When the radiographers have finished, they will help you off the bed and you are free to get dressed. If you have any questions, please wait until after the scan. Before you leave, the radiographers will take a photo, which is then attached to your treatment information on the computer. This is one of the ways used to identify you. It is only kept with your records for radiotherapy and is not shared with anyone else. The radiotherapy is planned specifically for you. If appropriate for your treatment, the radiographers will discuss a special breath holding technique with you. You will be given your list of your appointments for your radiotherapy before you leave the department. Radiotherapy. Each day you come for your treatment, you will be asked for your date of birth and address to make sure we have the correct person. Please let the radiographers know if you have any worries or concerns when you come in for your treatment. On your first day, you will be asked to re-sign your consent form to confirm you are still happy to go ahead with your radiotherapy. You will also be asked about any allergies. Please bring a dressing gown or a zipped top with you so you can get changed in a changing cubicle just before you go into the treatment room. You will not have to sit in the waiting room in your dressing gown. If you do not have a dressing gown or suitable top, we can supply you with a hospital gown for you to use during your treatment. When you go into the treatment room, the radiographers will help you onto the bed and into the same position as you were when you had your planning scan. So you will be lying on the special board with your arms up in the armrests. When you are comfortable on the bed, the radiographers will dim the room lights and will feel the bed being raised. You may see some green laser lights in the room. The radiographers will gently move you to align the lasers with the tattoos that you were given during your planning appointment. Try not to help the radiographers. Just relax and let them move you into the correct position. If they need you to move, they will ask you. When your tattoos are aligned, you are in the correct position for your radiotherapy. The radiographers will be talking over you checking their measurements and the machine will move around you but will not touch you. The first day usually takes a few minutes longer as the radiographers will be doing their extra checks and the measurements to ensure everything is correct. Although they use your tattoos for alignment, they will also draw some marks onto your skin with pen. These marks will wash off but please don't scrub them as we don't want you to make your skin sore. When the radiographers have completed all their checks, they will make sure you're okay, cover you with some paper, turn the lights on and then leave the room. While the radiographers are outside the room, they are watching you all the time on the cameras and there is also an intercom system. In the unlikely event of a problem, just raise your hand and they can stop the machine and come into you. Your treatment will be restarted when you are ready to continue. If you need to cough or sneeze when the machine is on, just cough or sneeze into the air. Please do not move your hand to cover your face. After a cough or sneeze, you will normally relax back into the same position. However, if the radiographers feel that you may have moved, they will stop the treatment and come in to check you're okay and still in the correct position. Radiotherapy is just like having a long x-ray taken. 
You don't see or feel anything. The machine will move around you, but doesn't touch you. You will hear a buzzing noise when the machine is on. While you are having your radiotherapy, try to keep still and relax. Breathe normally unless you have been told otherwise. You will be alone in the room for between 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your treatment. On the first few days and at intervals during your radiotherapy, the radiographers will be taking x-rays. These are part of the ongoing checks that happen during the course of your treatment. When the treatment is finished, Please do not sit up or try to get off the bed until the radiographers have told you it's safe to do so as the bed is quite high. They will help you off the bed. You can then get dressed and go home. Some people may need to have boost treatments. Boost treatments are directed to the area where the lump originally was. You will be in the same position. However, you will see the radiographers attach an applicator onto the head of the machine. This will come near you, but will not touch you. As before, you will hear a buzzing when the machine is on, but you will not see or feel anything. Your oncologist will tell you if you need to have boost treatments. Not everyone does. Side effects. Radiotherapy has an accumulative effect, so you wouldn't normally have many side effects in the first week, but as the treatment continues, you may start to have some. Radiotherapy carries on working for another seven to ten days after your treatment has finished. So any side effects you have on your last day of radiotherapy may continue in the next seven to ten days and then the side effects will gradually start to settle down. There are three main side effects you may experience but please remember everyone is different. Tiredness. You may notice you are feeling tired as your treatment continues. This could be due to the radiotherapy but also due to travelling and the waiting at the hospital. Continue to eat as normal during your treatment and drink the recommended two litres a day. Being active and continuing with your daily routine can help, but rest if you feel you need to. Skin. Radiotherapy will only affect the skin in the area that is being treated. I will discuss with the next slide how skin care will help reduce any reaction you may have. Your skin may start to colour, it may go pink. For some ladies, the skin can get quite red or darker. It may feel quite warm, dry or itchy. It may look and feel similar to sunburn, but it is a different type of reaction. So if you normally burn in the sun, it does not mean that you will have a bad reaction to radiotherapy. Tenderness in the treatment area. You may find the area being treated feels tender inside. Towards the end of your treatment, it may feel swollen and heavy. You may also experience small needle-type stabbing pains. These are all normal side effects and will settle after your treatment. If you have any concerns about your side effects during your radiotherapy, please speak to the radiographers treating you. Skin care. While you don't have any side effects, we recommend you continue with your normal washing and moisturising routine. Use your normal skincare products, including your deodorant. If you start to experience some skin irritation, we would suggest you use a gentle unperfumed soap or shower gel, warm water, not too hot or cold, and dry carefully with a soft towel. Use a gentle unperfumed moisturiser. If you are using a moisturiser, please make sure it has completely absorbed into your skin before treatment. You do not need to wash it off. Wear soft cotton bras if you have them, or old comfy bras, preferably without an underwire as this may rub against your skin. If you wear a prosthesis, you may find it more comfortable to use your soft one during treatment. While having treatment, do not shave under your arm or use any hair removal products as these may make your skin sore. Please do not use any perfumes or talcum powder in the treatment area. It is okay to swim, but as you go through your treatment, you may find the chlorinated water starts to irritate your skin. We would then recommend you stop swimming until the skin reaction has settled down. No jacuzzis or hot tubs while you are having radiotherapy. You are advised to keep the area you are having treated out of the sun. When your side effects have settled, we would recommend you use a high factor sun cream. You will need to be careful with the area 
that has had treatment in the future as it may be more sensitive to the sun. If you are unsure about skincare products or if you have any questions, please speak with the radiographers treating you. Clinic. During your radiotherapy, you will be seen by one of the clinic radiographers. This is a routine appointment to see how you are getting on with your radiotherapy and to ensure you have all the information that you need. If you would like to see your doctor during your radiotherapy, please let the radiographers treating you know and they will arrange this for you. Diet and exercise. Research has shown that if you are overweight, losing weight may help to reduce the risk of breast cancer coming back. There is a diet and exercise clinic at Mount Vernon Hospital which you may benefit from if you have gained a significant amount of weight during your treatment, for example, seven kilograms or one stone. If you would like to attend the clinic, please discuss with a member of your treatment team and they will refer you. Linda Jackson Macmillan Centre. We are very fortunate to have the Linda Jackson Macmillan Centre at Mount Vernon Hospital, which is a support and information centre. You can drop into the centre during their opening times for support and information, or just for a cup of tea and a chat. There is always a healthcare professional on duty, as well as trained volunteers who will welcome you to the centre. The centre provides support in a number of ways. The telephone helpline is staffed during their opening times and there is an answer machine for out of hours and during busy periods. There is also a benefits advisor who can give guidance on benefits and financial issues. Counselling or art psychotherapy provides an opportunity to help you understand your experience and help you feel more in control and able to cope. Complementary therapies. These can help to relieve stress help with relaxation and reduce anxiety. Therapies include reflexology, aromatherapy, ear acupuncture, Indian head massage and Reiki. Relaxation classes. These consist of breathing exercises, visualisation and relaxation techniques. Please drop in or call the Linda Jackson Macmillan Centre for more information about the support services that are available to you. If you have any questions following this film, please contact the Linda Jackson Macmillan Centre on 020 3826 2555. They will be able to help you with any general questions or they will signpost you to the appropriate person. Thank you for watching our film. We hope you have found it useful.